back in the safety room. Yep. Now that you're working with Coach Cecil. Yep. Right for the first time, what, what's it been like? Uh, you know, it's been, uh, I'll say, very eye-opening, you know, to get coached by a, you know, a legendary player here <clears throat> and uh, a guy that has a lot of wisdom and knowledge of the football. So, you know, I've been in, um, in the means learning a lot of things from him, you know, Coach Walk, too. So it's been good being back in the safety room. What's an example of something you've learned? Um, you know, just regular things like, like you know, formation adjustments, you know, um, playing the post and things like that. Um, you know, tackling, obviously, you know, how to tackle, how to come down from uh, one high safety and, you know, make a good tackle, things like that. What is the position called that you're playing now? Is it boundary, boundary safety. Boundary yeah, boundary safety. safety. Field safety? Yeah, exactly. Jack's field safety. Okay. How different is boundary safety from the Viper? Uh, it's very different um, in some aspects. You know, I'm still guarding tight ends, man, coverage. Uh, but I'm playing high, cover three, cover four, cover two. Um, you know, it's, it has its similarities, but I'm not just primarily in the box, you know, things like that. Uh, with this new defense with Coach Nansen, how mm -hmm. heavily does it depend on the safety position you guys out there? Um, I feel like the safeties, I mean, it's the most supported position on the defense. So, you know, I feel like every defense is going to be the, you know, the most supported position. But, you know, um, being a boundary safety, uh, need me in the run, need me in the pass game, need me to come down a guard tight end. So I feel like um, this defense relies on the safeties a lot. And what's that like relationship like for you, with Coach Nansen being here, with having another defensive coordinator? Uh, me and Coach Nansen, I feel like we got a pretty tight relationship so far. You know, him coming in and I'm being a fifth year senior, I feel like he looks at me as one of the leaders on the team and things like that. So, what do you think about football school? I like football school. Um, I feel like it helped me out a lot, although I already knew a lot of things, but just, you know, going over my knowledge about the football, the game of football, and things like that, so it helped me out a little bit. When we asked you guys last year about how come you didn't have more take takeaways, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of the response was we played so much man coverage. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You don't have eyes on the quarterback, so mm -hmm. does more zone equal more takeaways, or is there more to it? Though? I would say, yeah. I mean, we already got, I think, by like seven, eight, something like that already, and that's we only on practice five. So, I mean, I'm, the proof is in the pudding, I guess. <laughs> it seems like you guys are getting more confident out there defensively. Yeah, yeah, about. definitely. Uh, do you think you guys are just getting a grasp of the system better? Each um, you know, uh, confidence comes with repetition. So, I feel like, you know, us being out there, repping it, and, uh, you know, going back over to the meeting room, meeting extra with coaches and things like that, it obviously uh, makes us feel more comfortable in the defense. Same thing I asked Jackson. Which of the receiving newcomers, whether it's a wide receiver or tight end, is um, definitely Kenyon, uh, tight end wise, because you know I guard tight ends. He's a he's a good tight end. He'll probably be one of the best tight ends in the pack this year. And I feel like all the receivers, we have some good receivers. I mean, obviously T Mac, you know, uh, Dorian Singer, you know, uh, Cowan, Mayjean. I mean, they loaded over there. So I mean, there's a lot more size in that group. Yeah, now. yeah. How, how challenging is that for a defensive back when guys have? Go up and get the ball or win those uh, it definitely challenges us, but um, I mean, with us being the best secondary in the Pac-12, I mean, it's a challenge, but, you know, we're going to overcome that every time. Me, Jack, C. Rose, Stooks, guys like that, you know, Gunner, uh, DJ, Rutt, so. You feel like you're the best secondary in the Pac-12? No, yeah, we are definitely the best secondary in the Pac-12. Um, Coach Fish has talked about you as an NFL prospect, mm -hmm. like you said, you're a fifth-year senior. Yeah. probably thinking... This, this might be your last year. Where do you think your game needs to grow the most in order to make um, the level? I feel like an IQ level because I play safety, obviously. Uh, I'm supposed to know the whole defense, know what's coming before it comes, you know, things like that, uh, tackling, uh, one high safety, things like that. And, uh, you know, I can work on my zone coverage. I haven't done it in probably about two years, really, because, I mean, it's, you know, the, as much man as we ran last year. So getting back into that, uh, feeling comfortable in that, things like that. Or are you uh, on the process of doing that, getting back to you know being comfortable? Uh, just repetition, film, you know, meeting with coaches and things like that. Yeah. Thanks, man. Yeah, appreciate y'all.